Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this video we're going to continue learning how to program with Fazlino and particularly in this video we're going to learn how to use logic instructions. That means that we are going to uh, learn how to use logic operators and how to use uh, comparison instructions. This is the outline of the presentation. We're going to see three specific examples. The first one we're going to repeat or modify a previous ex exercise in which the idea here is to set the LED when a button is pushed. Also then later we are going to uh, see an exercise in order to understand and an, our operations and a third exercise in order to uh, introduce to the uh, comparison instructions. So in this first exercise, uh, uh, as I said before, is a modification of the previous one, but the idea now is to set the LED when the button is pushed. Remember that in this case the button is connected through a pull-up resistor which means that when not pushed we read it as a 1. But now what we want is when we push it we want to actually set the LED. So that means that we need to use the logical ne uh, negation operator here which will be marked as an, uh, this um, sign here in, the, in uh, our Arduino code. Let's see this first example which is uh, based on the previous uh, circuit that we've, we had before, but the idea now is that if we start the simulator, the LED will only set on when we push, and when we release, then it's off. We push again, it's on, and when we release, it's off. So now let's return to the presentation. So in this second example, the idea is that we're going to use two uh, switch buttons indeed, connected to pins D2 and D3 and we want to set two LEDs one which, is, which will be the, the LED connected to pin D12 and the other one connected to pin D13 in the, pin, in the LED 12 we need to or we want to see the OR operation so it will light on when one of the buttons will be on and, and the LED connected to pin number D13, uh, then we will see the AND operation. Uh, remember that based on the Boolean uh, logic and because of the buttons are uh, connected to a, a pull-up resistor, the negated value of this uh, signal here or the negated value of this signal here is what we want to use as the uh, actual state for the pin uh, or the LED connected to pin D12. And also, this is the operation that we want for the other LED. And because of the equivalent logic operators, this is also equivalent to implement these instructions here. So that's what we have done here. So we have done the negation of an AND operation, which is equivalent to this operation. And here, the negate result of an OR operation, which is equivalent to this operation here. The logical AND operator uses this sign here and the logical operator uses these symbols here. So let's see how this example works. In this case let me uh, turn on the simulation and here we have two LEDs. The red one is connected to pin D12 and the blue one is connected to pin uh, D13. So if I switch one of the uh, buttons here only the, uh, this is the OR, so it's this one or this one, it's ON. But if I switch both of them, then the other LED will be uh, set to ON as, as well. And if I switch off this one, the blue one will uh, turn off. And of course, if I switch off that one, the red one will be turned off again. So now let's see the third example. In this case, uh, what we want to do is to use uh, uh, a, a comparator uh, or comparison instruction. The idea is that if we read from an analog signal, which is a potentiometer connected to pin A0, if we read the value which is higher than, in this case, 512, then we want to set the LED uh, on, and if it's below that value, then uh, we want to set the LED to off. And for that, we use this instruction that compares two numbers and returns a boolean variable or a boolean number that can be used in a in this case in a conditional branching instruction like an if else instruction so if this thing is true 
then we set the LED too high and if not else then we set it too low. So let's see how this exercise works. If we start the simulation then here uh, this is uh, the position of the potentiometer. All these positions are below 500. We can see that and after just the half of the uh, range of the potentiometer then the LED starts uh, brightening. Okay, so this is above 512 and this is below 512. Okay, in this presentation we have introduced how to use logic uh, instructions with Facilino. Thank you very much.